Lee likes his toast crispy. He says French toast is mushy. I like that it's a little bit mushy. I even like breakfast cereal mushy. People are like, oh, I like it really crispy. When it's mushy, it's no good. Fuck that, dude. I'll let that, I'll let that shit sit there for like a half hour before I even touch it. What's going on, everybody? I'm Evan Setapani. Welcome to another episode of AMA. Ask me anything. I'm starving at the moment. I'm gonna be honest. Maybe this is too much information. I've got this stomach bug at the moment. I've been shitting my brains out for like three days now, okay? The minute I eat something, it goes right through me. I don't have an appetite for a lot of stuff, but I'm dying for some French toast. This is the weird thing, I have this stomach thing. Can't stop going to the bathroom, but I have an appetite. I'm hungry. And I figure, you know what? Pretty much anything I eat is just gonna go through me anyways. I might as well eat whatever I want. I'm dying for French toast. I've got some questions here that you guys sent me. Why don't we make some French toast together? I can answer your questions. Like, we'll both win, you know? Without further ado, let's let's just jump in. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna kind of do my thing while I answer these questions. The first question I've got here is, what's your opinion on ice baths? All of a sudden, everyone is taking ice baths. Yeah, no shit, huh? Now, that shit kind of always annoyed me. Not ice baths. It's like, yo, well, this, this is what we're doing now. Now it's ice baths. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know shit about ice baths. I know how I feel when I get cold. Now, every year, in the summertime, I go up to Cape Cod. So my family has a house up there. One of the things we do is we go clamming. Don't ask me why the clams are so good from up there, but they're delicious. And every Sunday is a day that you can go and you can fill a basket with clams. So we do that. Sometimes you find them really fast. You fill that bucket quick and you get the fuck out of there. Sometimes it takes a long time. Why am I telling you this? because the times when it takes a long time and I'm in that water, now that water's not even cold. It's certainly not ice water. I get fucking cold, man. I start to freeze. And you know what happens? Everything hurts, all right? Now, I've got some injuries over the years. When I'm in that water for an extended period of time and I get cold, ha <laughs> ha, dude, I can barely walk, okay? The pain is brutal. I've never taken an ice bath. And you know something? I've got no desire whatsoever to take an ice bath. On the flip side, okay, times when I'm in a lot of pain, what will I do? Take a really hot bath. You know what that does? Makes my pain go away. I'm sure you guys watching, people, you're more studied than I am when it comes to, I don't know, the art of the ice bath. <laughs> Personally, now we, we all, agree that blood flow is a positive thing, right? Now the heat, when you take a hot bath, you get more blood flow. Hence, I could wake up with knee pain, back pain, hip pain, take a really, really hot bath, sit in some brutally hot water for half an hour. I get out of that tub, I feel like a different person, okay? My aches and pains, they're gone. I'm assuming because you drove a bunch of blood flow. I don't know why you would take an ice bath. Now people are gonna say, well, it's cold, so it's anti-inflammatory. I don't know, dude. I'm just going by what I felt. Maybe when you take an ice bath and you're basically restricting all that blood, maybe then you get like a uh, an overcompensation of blood flow, right? Maybe it, then it rushes. Maybe that's the idea. I'm just telling you, I don't wanna take an ice bath. We should put some cinnamon on these, right? Or should we use pumpkin pie spice? Pumpkin pie spice sounds better. You can only do it one at a time. I got this griddle. This thing works fucking great. Two burners. Oh, I love French toast so much. You know who hates French toast, come to find out? Lee Priest. He said he has a problem with the French themselves. Be that as it may, not much bad you could say about their toast. Well, Lee does though. Lee likes his toast crispy. He says French toast is mushy. I like that it's a little bit mushy. I even like breakfast cereal mushy. People are like, oh, I like it really crispy. When it's mushy, it's no good. Fuck that, dude. I'll let that, I'll let that shit sit there for like a half hour before I even touch it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, cinnamon already smells really good. How do you feel about staying in shape year round? It seems like it would be healthier and easier to do that instead of putting on a bunch of weight just to take it off again. Huh. That's a really good question. And I have an answer for that. I'm not saying it's a good answer, but I've got an answer. It was always my feeling when I was competing that all things should be cyclical. What do I mean by that? Diet should be cyclical, right? You don't wanna eat the same thing all year. 
If you do that, and it comes time to diet for a contest, what are you gonna do, right? You're already eating clean. Same thing with cardio. I always felt, always felt like, well, fuck cardio. I don't wanna do it in the off season. Then I'm just gonna have to do more pre-contest. Same thing for drugs. I always felt like, well, I'm not gonna use the same drugs year round, and I'm certainly not gonna use the same quantity. I'm gonna try to use as little as possible because I know I need them pre-contest. I'm gonna try to not use so much because pre-contest, I'm just gonna have to take more. That was always my thinking. I'm gonna tell you something. I never had a problem getting in shape for a show. I never had to kill myself with the diet. To be totally honest, in an off season, like my base diet was always very solid, right? So I'd be eating five to six really good meals. It wasn't uncommon where I'd be eating fast food three times a week. Each of those hits being, you know, a couple thousand calories. This is spatula so big. And guess what? I never stayed that lean in an off season. Uh, I always put on a good bit of fat. But I will tell you this, the second it came time to diet, what would be the first move? Instead of getting fast food three times this week, maybe I'll just get it once. And I'd keep the rest of my diet like the same. I'm eating tons of food, okay? Lots of carbs, lots of fats. And even doing that, just because I reduced my fast food intake, I would start to see an improvement in my physique. Go from doing zero cardio to doing 20 minutes a day. When you're already doing all that stuff, you're, you're not eating any junk, you're already doing the cardio, where are you gonna go from there? Somebody might say, well, but if you're staying in shape, you don't have that much to lose. You don't have to do that much cardio or make those big adjustments to your diet. Seeing as I've moved on from bodybuilding, I do tend to eat a lot cleaner year round. I don't tend to eat as much fast food. I don't tend to eat the same quantity in an off season. Why? Well, because I just don't wanna feel that way, right? I don't wanna put on the excess weight. I don't wanna feel stuffed all the time. And to that end, it's very good. But I will tell you this, when it comes time to diet now, it's a lot fucking harder. <laughs> because it's like, well, wait a minute, I'm eating clean all the time. What, what am I gonna cut out now? You know, when you were competing, how much cardio did you do? I'll do a half hour a day. How intense would it be? Eh, I don't know, walk on the treadmill? Just go easy on the step mill? How did the weight come off? You don't know why? Because they're so fucking big. When you're a guy who's 280, 290 pounds, your body just, you sitting there, your body's trying to maintain that size. You get, in, you get up and you just walk and you move around a little bit, your body already st starts burning fat. It becomes a lot easier to get in shape when you're a big dude because you're carrying a ton of size that consumes a lot of calories. Look at that. That looks so good. It's gonna be so good. Hope you don't mind me chewing in your ear a little bit. Uh, My advice, <sighs> there's gotta be some difference between off season, now, even if you're not a competitor, right? Just between the times when you are in optimal shape versus suboptimal shape. You gotta give yourself places to go. If you start, you fall into the trap of doing the same thing all year, you're fucked. You're totally gonna screw yourself. Don't do that. Next question. My coach is pissing me off. Right now, I'm in my off season, and I feel like my coach is being too strict. The meals are regimented, and I have to weigh my food. He also tells me to eat vegetables. This seems like BS to me. What's your take on it? Well, I mean, on one hand, kind of piggybacking off of what I just said, you don't want to be too strict in an off season. You sound like a giant pussy, to be honest. Uh, you, you do need to weigh your food because you need a reference point. If you don't know, if you don't weigh your food, you don't know how much you're eating technically. The nutrition game, okay, when it comes to gaining size, is continuing to push the envelope. So you're gonna hit plateaus. Just as you push weight in the gym, you're gonna have to push food, okay, in the kitchen. You don't just say to somebody, well, hey, eat more chicken. You say, okay, if you're eating eight ounces, now let's bring it up to 10. So your coach telling you to weigh your food, I don't think he's being unreasonable. As for vegetables, well, dude, vegetables are good for you. They certainly can help, help you with digestion, help with all sorts of things. You know, bodybuilding isn't just carbs, proteins, fats. Uh, there's a lot of other things that you're gonna consume that are gonna be helpful. I don't know, man, if weighing your food is a deal breaker for you, if eating vegetables is a deal breaker for you, bodybuilding is probably just not for you. That's my advice. Well, 
Thank you guys for joining me. Let's see what kind of job I did here. Mmm. Mmm. And I'm just going to go to the bathroom in like 20 minutes. I'm just going to go right through me. You guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care.